Newton's third law of motion is deceptively simple, but it will only take a few minutes to go over. It is the principle in physics that allows uh, rockets to propel themselves and any sort of propulsion to occur. And it goes like this. If one object pushes or pulls on another object, then the second object must also push or pull on the first one. And that both pushes and pulls are going to be in equal and opposite directions. You may have heard about this as the action-reaction law. So when the football player, seen here in the red, pushes on the football player in blue, the blue pushes back with the same amount of force, just in the opposite direction. Newton's third law always involves a pair of objects and the force that they are interacting with at that moment. This applies to all forces that are being applied, whether it's a contact or a non-contact force. So here we have uh, the space shuttle. It is lifting off. And we can see here that it is not attached to anything. It is in the process of lifting off. And so the question we can ask ourselves is, what thing is pushing on the rocket in order to make it go? Well, it's not attached to the ground. So what could be pushing on it? If we look at the bottom of the rocket, we see that there is a lot of gases being expelled out the back of the rocket. What is happening here is that the solid rocket booster is being ignited. And in the process of combustion, those gases are expanding and are being forced out the back of the thruster. As that happens, the gases themselves actually push back on the rocket, causing the propulsion in, that in the opposite direction. This is a contact force between the collective gas molecules of the fuel being combusted and the rocket itself. If the rocket were on its side, it would move horizontal. But in this case, it's pointed vertically, and so that's the direction that it's being pushed. We can apply Newton's third law to a uh, uh, scenario like this. Here we've got a man stuck in a frozen lake. He's holding a bag of gold in green. The surface is perfectly frictionless, and we'd like him to get off the ice. Well, because it's perfectly frictionless, he can't get a toehold, so if he tries to step or shift his weight, he'll just fall over and not go anywhere. So if he wants to save himself, one way to do it is to use Newton's third law, and that is to push the bag of gold away. When he pushes on the bag of gold, the bag of gold pushes back on him, and He'll accelerate due to that force that's applied to him, and the bag will accelerate as well. There'll be uh, the, a force will be applied in one direction on the bag. The opposite direction will uh, have a force applied uh, on the man, and they'll go in opposite directions. Now, which one will accelerate more? We need Newton's second law in order to determine that. The one with the most mass will receive the least amount of acceleration. In this case, it's probably the man. He's probably more massive than that bag of gold, which means uh, for the same force that's applied on him as on the bag, he'll get less acceleration, and the bag will accelerate more uh, in the opposite direction. And that's how you can use Newton's third law applied in a situation like this, and then use the second law to figure out the acceleration. Sometimes students in astronomy class are confused when they hear that the Earth pulls on the moon with the same amount of gravitational force that the moon pulls on the Earth with. And, well, that's true because of Newton's third law. You cannot pull without being pulled. You cannot push without being pushed. And Newton's third law applies even with the force of gravity. The difference is in the accelerations. Earth is much more massive than the moon, and so it won't accelerate as greatly compared to the moon, which will accelerate more due to its small mass. So that's the difference between uh, having a big or small acceleration, but having the same net force applied uh, in those situations. So just remember, Newton's third law, you have to have two objects that have some sort of force interaction, and you can think of it like this. 
You cannot push without being pushed. You cannot pull without being pulled. And that's Newton's third law.